Yo, what's going on guys? Today we are at the wonderful world of Bass Pro and I've been eyeballing this combo since it's been cold outside. They got it in maybe like last November-ish and I've been wanting to get it. But today we are going to be buying the most expensive combo in Bass Pro. Hopefully it's the most expensive and I didn't just lie to y'all, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's going to be the most expensive. And there's also some new stuff in here I kind of want to look at too, like some new combos that I haven't used yet. So I definitely want to try those out. Okay guys, with everybody going out and starting to catch more big mouth bass, y'all are starting to DM me some pictures of some pretty nice fish and ask me what bait caster combo should I get. So it's either like the very, the very like entry level combos that people have been asking me about or like a more expensive combo. And I've gotten a few questions about this one, so I figured, well let me go buy it so y'all don't have to and I can tell y'all how good it is or how bad it is. Now the fun part is trying to find it because I swear they add new fish and stuff in here every day and I'm like, ooh, look at that one. Oh, um, let's see, let's see. I got the good old Black Max combo. I think I'm, I think I'm in the area now. Let's see, that's Bass Pro, Bass Pro branded. I swear it was right here. Okay, they have the Jordan Lee combo. That's getting closer. Let me know if this video gets 750 likes on this video, I'll get the Jordan Lee combo and try it out next. We're here for the most. I think this is it. Is this it? No, this isn't it either. Where is that? I know they used to. They had it for sure in here. This is the Major League Fishing combo. These are actually really nice. The Rock Sand. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but these look really good okay so if we can't find the one we were looking for we might have to scoop one of these i'm feeling the navy are these both heavy rods seven three heavy seven three heavy seven foot medium heavy seven foot medium heavy y'all beat me to it y'all beat me to the combo i wanted it looks like all right guys so i couldn't find the rod but we got blake here What's going on, guys? blake's taking me to a couple ponds fishing before but he's gonna go check in the oh it's right here dude it's right here this is this is it 229 Rebo Headsets. This is a nice combo. All right, I appreciate it. He brought me right to it. <laughs> he was gonna go check in the back for me. If you're ever in Bass Pro, come talk to Blake. He's your man. He has all the deals. He'll give you 50% off anything in the store. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I appreciate it. All right, so we have the we have the Vendetta Rod with the Revo SX. 229, the most expensive combo in Bass Pro. Before I get hate, there's rods that are more expensive than 229, but for a cold combo rod and reel, this is your most expensive. Now we have to figure out which option do we want. Hopefully they come in different sizes, or I would think they would come in different sizes. It's got seven foot medium heavy. Oh, seven foot medium heavy fast. All right, guys, we are going with the seven foot medium heavy Revo SX. I think this reel is like a regular $160. So the rod I know is at least 100. So this is like a steal of a combo for 229. I gotta remember, I'm, I'll get demonetized for singing the music, but they just played a really good song in Bass Pro. 750 likes will come by the Jordan Lee combo, but most expensive Bass Pro combo. About to go put some line on it and hopefully catch some big mouth bass. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we just made it to the water and now we are going to go ahead and put our line on our bait caster. But first we have to take off these zip ties because you know how I feel about the zip ties. If you watch my Black Max video, you know, that's the one thing I can't stand. I understand why people do it or why companies do it, but it's like the number one thing I can't stand on a bait caster is the zip ties. SX looks really nice though. It feels super smooth. We're gonna tighten up our drag and turn our brakes down because those are normally the two things that we forget to do when we'll cast for the first time in bird's net. I mean, for $229, I have pretty high expectations of this. Like, should be pretty good. I just love these knobs with the Abu Garcia on them with the wind grips. Okay guys, so besides how good this combo looks, the bass I'm guessing are chasing bait fish in this pond and they've been busting for the past like three or four minutes. So they have some potential to be really good out here. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of, I couldn't think straight. I couldn't tie this on because I kept turning around and looking. I was like, I need to go ahead and get it tied on so I can start fishing. But we have the war pig tied on with our Revo SX on the Vendetta rod. I probably should take the tag off. <laughs> we'll take it off in a second. I had to start fishing. Let's see. First cast. Oh, that's smooth. That's very smooth. Probably hope that you can see it. <laughs> oh, first cast, first cast fish. Oh my gosh, on the first cast. <laughs> Dude, that's a good one. Oh my goodness, that is a good one. On the first cast, <laughs> on the first cast. <laughs> What in the world are the chances of that? Dude, I said that they were busting. Let me take you up here. Dude, I said that they were busting. I said, guys, first cast on the SX. Oh my goodness, guys, let's go. Look at that, nice fat fish. 
nice fat. He, he's only about one or two pounds, but he's super short and chunky. Oh my goodness, we gotta get him on the big camera because that's first cast, dude. First cast never happened. <laughs> Guys, check that out, fish. Did you see that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if y'all can hear that, but fish on the first cast, they're gonna go ahead and let him go and keep fishing because they are going crazy right now. He's only about maybe a one to two pounder, but he's super fat. But we're gonna go ahead and let him go. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. First cast fish on the new $200 combo. For $200, I hope to catch a fish on the first cast. Can't be mad at that. Oh, there's one swimming right there. It's literally a fish right there. I just watched him swim by. It's just real so smooth i had like some little test i wanted to do with it but like after catching the fish on the first gas we're gonna have to wait until it kind of slows down because look look it's look look yeah I, oh look at that skip <laughs> how about that i'm not sure what the bait fish are in here i'm guessing they're probably not shad this is like a shad imitation lure Right there. Honestly, we could just walk around and like follow the fish busting. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Fish number two. Let's go, baby. Dude, being on the kayak is kind of like <laughs> helped me feel the fish a little bit more. Oh, he's a little fighter too. Dude, he just had a whole fit. I tried my hardest to stop him from going back into the water. All right, we'll go ahead and let you go, dude. Looks like you don't want to hang out. You got it. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've caught two fish on this war pig, and I've been fishing for about 15, 20 minutes, and it's kind of slowed down a little bit. Before I leave, I'm going to switch over to the smaller presentation of a fritz size. All the fritz size that I've been throwing, they've been the big in size. I think it's either like the fritz size seven or nine. I'm not really sure. We're going to tie on this smaller little bait fish size. This is like a smaller presentation fritz size. So maybe we can get a couple more bites if we scale down from the war pig, from the big war pig to the smaller fritz size. So. So the, really one of my main reasons for coming over and switching is because that war pig is a really heavy lure, easy to cast. Just to kind of test out like the light lure casting capability of this combo. Right, when I first saw this lure, I was like, there's no way you can cast that on a bait caster. Oh, that's perfect, dude. All right, guys, I think we took full advantage of spot number one for the day. We caught two fish, fish on the first cast on a new combo. You can't ever, you can't possibly ask for anything better than that. We're going to go to spot number two. Not quite sure where we're going to go to yet, but we have a few options. We're going to head on over to spot number two. Hopefully we can catch a few more fish on the combo. So far, I love it. I think catching a fish on the first cast on a combo kind of like gives it a slight advantage and I'll probably never see anything wrong with it. But so far, honestly, guys, first review for $229, I would buy that combo all day. So far, we haven't had any problems out of it. Stay tuned. We're going to keep on fishing it. All right, guys, we have made it to location number two. We are gonna take the Revo SX out on the kayak. And I was sitting right here, I was loading up the kayak, I was just looking and admiring the water, and I saw a bass like cruising the bank, and it was only about a pound. But still, there's bass starting to cruise the bank. You know, that means one, it means top water, because shallow water just means top water. The fish are in shallow water just means top water. Don't ask me about it, don't ask me why I think that. There's another one right there. I don't I don't think you can see that but I don't I don't remember what I was saying I'm just excited to get on the water guys I love this time of year I just I just love being able to catch fish when you come out you know I just waited so long and the time is finally here and we had the potential to catch fish and we're just gonna go out on the kayak I feel like I'm giving an acceptance speech for the warm weather anyway guys we will talk to y'all out on the kayak all right guys we got the war pig still tied on or we tied the war pig back on There's one. Fish number one doesn't feel too terribly big. <laughs> He's fighting though. He's trying. Hey, come here. There we go. Not the biggest fish in the world, but it is a start for sure. So, see you later. So those fish fight so hard when they first get hooked. Like, it would confuse you. You think it have a little bit of size to it, then you get it in and it's like, oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, 
There is a fish. Dude, that was like second it hit the water. Second it hit the water, there's a fish on that. How about that? We'll take it all day. It's not fighting very. That's not a, that's, what is that? It's not a bass. What is that a gar? What, what the world? Dude, I don't know if I can unhook that. <laughs> I think I know what it is. I think, okay, let's bring it in the kayak. Gosh, she is she's a little feisty fella. So first for me, um, is it a, not a pickerel, is it a chain pickerel? No. Can figure out how do we hold it. I guess up underneath the gills is the best way. All right. All right, guys. Fish with teeth, me and me really haven't gotten along so far in the past, so we're holding with the pliers like a baby. See you later. Guys, we tried to do the whole hold it under the gill maneuver, and that didn't really work either. I caught some teeth when I went <laughs> when I went under his gill. I caught some teeth. I was like, yeah, screw that. It's always a good day. Anytime you catch a new species of fish, it's always a good day. I'm going to say that that's a chain pickerel. I have no clue if that's what it is. But I think I've seen those on fish frame before in a few lakes and stuff. But that's my first one ever catching. It's pretty, it's not a super hard fighting fish, but I mean, it's a pretty fish for sure. So guys, we caught a new species on our rod. Um, it really didn't have too much of a fight to it. So I can't really say how it felt. I mean, it fought for like the first, I guess when it realized it was hooked, it fought a little bit. And then after that, I guess the shape of his body. So like water dynamic, hydrodynamic, I think is the word. But it really didn't, it didn't have the chance to fight too much. There's one, not big. That is fish number three. E-I-N-K, dink. But fish number three, every fish we catch can't be big, you know where? We've been catching some pretty big fish this year, and you know, we we can't catch all the big ones. So you need to leave some of the big ones in the water for somebody else to catch. All right, guys, I got a kayak all loaded up, and I'll talk to y'all when we get home. All right, guys, so just got back home with the combo. I've taken it out and used it. I've taken it out and used it on another video also that you'll see here coming up pretty soon on the channel. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But guys, so far I've used this combo two, three times out in the water and I love it. I don't have anything negative to say about it. I can't get this little sticker off though. That's the only that's the only negative thing about it, I think. But that's Bass Pro's probably fault. It's not really ever. I can't get the label off, but other than that, guys, I really like it. It's caught probably right at 10 fish on it so far, so. I mean, for having it for only about two or three days, 10 fish on, I think that's pretty good. But yeah, guys, so if you're wondering about the Abbe Garcia Revo SX on the Vendetta rod, if you want to know if it's the combo for you or not, I would definitely recommend it. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but hopefully this video helps somebody out who they're actually looking at this combo, wondering if they want to get it or not. Seven foot, medium, heavy, fast rod. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank y'all so much. Let me know what you thought of the rod. Let me know if you think it's worth it. If it's not worth it, would you spend $229 on a combo? Yes or no? Let me know down below in the comments guys i hope you enjoyed today's video thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day